in order to connect with the imagery, the student needs to find that imagery in their bodies so that they really feel uh, where that character is living at that moment because it is always where the imagery is. We image text because when we physicalize that idea with our bodies, we understand it much more profoundly than when we just think about it or talk about it. It's simple as that. And once we've done it, we can talk about it much more fluently and, and with much greater understanding. But it's terribly important to find the physical reality in our bodies. Physical actions um, are massively helpful, particularly for, I don't count myself as an academic, so embodying the words really inside my body and my soul um, really helps me focus on um, the script and what is going on at that precise moment. There is some incredibly complex language in Shakespeare, some incredibly complex imagery. There are some very simple physical exercises to find the physical in the body, to find the physical in the words, uh, so that when a young person commits to that complex language, they have a much more um, kinesthetic uh, relationship to it first. Uh, so you get it in your body and then you find it in your mouth and you find it with your words. It's beyond their intellect. It's beyond what the words mean. It's beyond anything to do with that. It's really how it feels. You know, it's what the word feels like. And I think this is why Shakespeare's language has lasted so long.